Disney has been actively destroying George Lucas properties since they bought Lucasfilm in 2012. One actor, Warwick Davis, is speaking up against Disney. But is he 100% right? Let's get into it. Welcome back to EBN, where we are live every Saturday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. We hope that you will join us. Before we get into what Warwick Davis actually said against Disney publicly, let's see exactly how we got here. Willow is a fantasy adventure film directed by Ron Howard and released in 1988. Created by George Lucas, the story takes place in a mythical land where a young farmer named Willow Ufgood, played by Warwick Davis, embarks on an epic journey to protect a baby princess, Alora Dannon, from an evil queen named Bad Morda. Willow is a classic tale of heroism, friendship, and the triumph of good over evil. It is loved by audiences for its captivating storytelling, impressive visual effects, and memorable characters. The film's themes of bravery and the power of ordinary individuals to rise to extraordinary challenges make it an entertaining and inspiring watch for audiences of all ages. The movie is one of the iconic, heartfelt movies from the 1980s. And after a few decades, fans were surprised to learn that the world of Willow would be returning. When the show was announced at D23, Kathleen Kennedy said, This is an exciting new era for storytelling at Lucasfilm. John Chu's vision, coupled with the writing of John Kasdan and Wendy Miracle, is going to take Willow into new and exciting directions for the series. Well, it did that. Reuniting Ron Howard and Warwick Davis in the world of Willow is something that they've both wanted to do for some time and I couldn't be more proud of the incredible team we've put together to bring this series to Disney+. Plus. When the show was finally released, fans were horrified and most stopped watching. The story, heart, and feel-good nature of the original was gone. Forbes magazine released an early review in November of 2022 saying, Willow is an abomination. Eric Kane, senior contributor at Forbes said, Whatever this is, this is awful, badly written, poorly acted, cheap imitation, it is not Willow. Even Warwick Davis seems to have lost his spark. When it was reported that Disney was losing money and their stock price began to drop, they pulled the plug on heaps of original content on Disney+. Though Willow was a new series, it did not attract the audience that Disney was hoping for. Therefore, they even took it off their streaming service. Warwick Davis, who plays the titular character Willow, has spoken out against Disney, saying in a tweet, I meet lovely people on a daily basis who are fans of Willow who were the reason the Disney Plus series was made. Please tell me, Walt Disney Company, what do I say to these subscribers when they ask, why can't they watch the series anymore? Hashtag embarrassing. All right, Nick, one of our old favorite actors, Warwick Davis. He is very unhappy with Disney. What did you think about his tweet? Ooh. How he's publicly basically shaming them for taking Willow off of Disney Plus, but... Maybe he should be mad about something else entirely. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I mean, is an actor, especially for him being, you know, the main character in the original movie, I'm sure this franchise has like a special place in his heart. Sure. Whether it was the his show, first leading role. No yeah, doubt about it. Yeah. yeah. Whether the show sucked or not, you know, whatever. He has a connection with the character. He has a connection with this, with this property. So I understand his frustration. Uh, I'm sure he probably wanted it to to do better numbers and that sort of the thing that right. sort of thing. But but when you have people, uh, activists running, uh, you know, Lucasfilm over there, and they're pushing out this agenda crap, uh, you know, this is the type of product you can, you end up getting. Because when the uh, Willow movie was first announced or the show, I was actually looking forward to it the original movie doesn't really hold up that well today but no. i still loved that movie as a kid and so when they announced that they were doing this i was interested in checking it out uh and yeah. I, I i couldn't even get through the first episode no. uh and and i i didn't even watch anymore and then the more i heard about all the other episodes um i was just like god this sounds god awful uh, yeah. And then on top of that, I remember I was on a Doomcock stream and they were talking about how they had this rock music at the end credits. And I was like, no, that can't <laughs> be true. Uh, 
And I went to an episode and just fast forward to the end credits. And it was like a, a like a different version of a Metallica song. I'm like, why yeah. would you put that in the show? This is like a fantasy show. Why are you yeah. got modern day music in here? It should be like Lord of the Rings type, you know, orchestrated music and sure. stuff. Uh, but they were just trying to do too much. The writing was terrible. The, the concept of the story, the, the agenda that they were pushing in it. And if you saw the show, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it, he should be more pissed at the, at the people that created the show right. than Disney pulling the show off of Disney plus. Cause it was hot garbage. I agree to take the show off and have him go through that kind of exp- embarrassment when fans walk up and say, Hey, why can't we watch Willow? Why is it not on Disney Plus anymore? And he's publicly shaming Disney and calling them out. But I think his anger towards Disney is misplaced because I think it really should be, why did you just why did you destroy my franchise? Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and truth be told, Warwick Davis, I love Warwick Davis. I'm a fan of Warwick Davis. Yeah. I love him to death. I would rather somebody like Warwick Davis say, Yeah, I'm not gonna be in this if this is how you're gonna write it. I'm yeah. not going to be in this if this is what you're going to do. I'm out. But too many times actors are like, yeah, I'm in no matter what. Yeah, paycheck. What yeah, paycheck. It's paycheck. I'm, you know. I'm the leading role and let's do <laughs> yeah. it. Well, you know, Disney destroyed another George Lucas franchise. Yeah. It just is what it is. So I would like to see actors. I hope this is a lesson to a lot of actors. You know, it's cool that he's calling out Disney and I'm all for that. Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, actually, I, I agree with Warwick Davis. I wish they would make Willow available on Disney Plus because nobody would watch it. And yeah. it would definitely be sitting up signal flares to Disney. This isn't working. But by the way, they know it's not working. That's why it's no longer on Disney Plus. Yeah, they Warwick know da- it was a turd. Yeah, Warwick Davis should just tell all his people, you can't watch it because the show sucked. Exactly. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm sorry. It, you know, I did my part. I didn't write the show though. I didn't come up with, with the story. Exactly. You know, That's I was exactly just a right. paid actor, but yeah, the show's hot garbage. He should just be straight up with the, with the people that ask him. It's not on That's there because right. the show sucks and exactly nobody watched right. it. Well, guys, let us know in the comments what you think. Do you support Warwick Davis going after Disney publicly like this? But is his anger misplaced like we think? You let us know in the comments. We are, you are Echo Base Network. See you guys on the next one. Bye guys.